Oh. Oh. Would you um? Oh. It's amazing to meet you. Hi, I'm Emily. No, please come. don't. Please come and say hi. How is it? How is it? It's fantastic. Having... We've just got into the new area, the Dragon Isles. Okay, so this is the Dragon Isles. And who yeah. are you? This... this is this is us. This is actually my character. Yeah. And I want to say I'm nearly as new to WoW as you are. We were asked to start playing this last month. Yeah. So while you were doing the fireside reading, yeah. I was like, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Oh, because they wanted a mixture of like experienced and inexperienced players. Yeah. So when I found out you were coming in and kind of teaching us, I was like, I feel like we're in the same. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know that I'm teaching you, but um, this is really extraordinary. Though. It's yes. The world, it's the kind right? of detail of this world. And so this is a new character that everyone has now. This yeah. is like the new sort of like half human. We can actually change from a dragon into our more human form. Yeah. Ooh. And so these are the characters that you were sort of like telling us about earlier on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are fantastic. They're so fun to play. So yeah. you know... How many versions can you be of this? Any. Like, yes. We spent, I spent about an hour building this character because you can change anything. Eye colour, scales, size, type of horns. And that can change all the time. Yeah. So yeah. I can, I can um, adjust my character whenever I want to, but also like basically when you first make your character, you'll sit there and you'll take your time and work out what kind of character, how you want them to look. So like Fred's character, it looks a bit more war-torn and he's got like one like clouded white eye and one broken horn because he wanted to look like he'd been in battles, you yeah. know? Um, so it's The been... character customizations, yeah. it, it, there's, there's so many options. It can be a little bit overwhelming, but it's nice that you can like make a character like your own yeah. in this game. And you can totally, what I like immediately about it is yeah. you can completely express yourself. Exactly. And you can be whoever you want to be. Yes. You can yes. be in any form. Exactly. And that can change all the time. Yes. Exactly. Well, and that sounds quite easy as well. Yeah. Maybe a bit harder than it is to change in life. It's a, it's a lot harder to change in life. No, but it was so easy. So where are you now? This is the new Dragon Isle. So this is the brand new yeah. area that's opened up that we've sort of like been learning about over the last yeah. month. Yes. And so this has been, apparently, this has been like law in the game since mm -hmm. like, the game came out back in like 2004. Yeah. So, so it's like a... Oh, so this is something that you've oh. heard, heard tale of, mm -hmm. um, but have never seen, and now you're confronted yes. with it. And how does it compare to what you've heard about it? Well, it's really interesting because I didn't realize that this had been kind of told about in the story right from the beginning. So people were saying that right when the game first came out, this island was almost in and then they didn't finish it and it was never completely put in. So I think people have been really excited to see it. And I mean, this is the first time i've been here it only became available yesterday and i will say it looks amazing like yeah. it looks what's that? okay my, oh, sorry. my no eye idea. goes here yeah yeah now what is this <laughs> so this is there are, there are tons of mounts in the game yeah. mounts are basically so emily's character yeah. i'm playing her right now yeah. she has a dragon so she's a dragon riding a dragon <laughs> yeah and that helps you get around faster now can that dragon ride that dragon as well i hope or so not? that may be in a future update but maybe think... there's something you can unlock for that <laughs> yeah. dragon to ride that dragon to ride that yeah dragon. i think if we speak to that person we get access to using that okay dragon. can we use that dragon please yeah sure <laughs> Please, show, so show me cool. where I can fly. Show me where I can so fly. Cool. Okay. Um, oh, we don't have any, we haven't unlocked any. So basically, yeah. this can fly us anywhere. Once we explore the Dragon Isles more, yeah. we can then get basically, which is a Dragon Uber yeah. or a taxi. Yeah, 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 and yeah. Um, we can um, basically then choose, but we've only we've only just got here, so we don't have the option. I wonder if I can, okay. you know, I'm, I'm already here, so yeah. I can't, I can't so use As we yet. travel around and we unlock more areas, we can get on that dragon and it will fly us to places. So yeah. it means that you can travel more quickly in the game or you can meet up with your friends when and can things we like that. I need to. I should have. I should have got here earlier got so I could have found a new spot. Well, one of the good things about this character, yeah. these new dragons, is that they actually can fly themselves. Wow. So what's that up there? What's oh. the, what, is, what are these buildings? Here? I'm not sure. We've Let's never go been there. Yeah. 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 Go on them. So this is really extraordinary yes. because. Yes. Um, I've never quite experienced anything like this before. My, I, I've had experience of games a long time ago mm -hmm. when I was growing up. Yeah. But, you know, that I remember always having that feeling yeah. of, I wish I could explore the world. Yes. I wish I could go off in any direction it's I wanted amazing. to. You can go so we can actually go and yeah. explore. Yeah. Ooh, and this we can go learn what's up there, but who's, there's some light up there. I want to know who's up there. Let's see if we can get all the way no, it's fine. <laughs> no, I, I... character up there to see what's going I on. Think, uh, I'm we, sure. I don't think we can get up high. I think we've run out. We've run out of energy. No. We can't. Oh, no. 
So I, oh, think no. a, um, I think it's a, I think it's a lighthouse. I think know? we can land here. Yeah, we can have a look at okay. it. Then what will help, but then will there be anything we can, oh no. Oh no. So no, this is fine. We're not look stranded around and... No, no, we, no. no. We will be able, to, we'll be able to fly again in a minute. We to, our dragon needs time to recharge his wings, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so how can you make it recharge its wings quicker? So that's part of the game, basically leveling up and playing, playing more and gaining more experience in the game. Um, you can again go from level to level, and the more levels you get, the more of these options you get. So our dragon right now, he has, um, she or well, she has, sorry, yes, yeah. um, lots of abilities like this, which is a healing ability. Like uh, we also have the ability to uh, direct a line of fire. Yeah. So, so we then, can, like, breathe fire all across the ground and damage any enemies in front of us. So yeah, so, Emily's character, she's um, so there's lots of different types of dragons, and Emily's character specifically a dragon that does damage, that is like aggressive and fights. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, <laughs> so Fred was playing a dragon that looked like a healing dragon, yeah. but I breathe fire on people. Yeah, That's like fight. my role. Yeah, aggressive yeah. fight. Yeah, yes. why not? Why not yes. have that? So this is Wing Rest Bay. Yes. Are so we, we are... anything on this boat? Has it been ravaged already? I think it, it looks might... like, I think it's more for decoration. Like, I it think may it's have been plundered. And been plundered. Oh, it's nice. What, what is that? that? This is an airship coming in. This is the uh, one of the other classes. Uh, I think the, the gnomes. Oh, really? And so they actually are a bit more tech savvy than the rest of the races in the game. Yes, but you're not just a dragon. There are tons of different characters and races and classes that you can be. And so each one has its own sort of style of travel. Each one has its own like sort of culture. So I think that they're quite technological. So okay. because they're well, they a much larger dragon. Oh my gosh. I think that's a bad dragon. She's yes. got a red name. It's you see the nice red thing. text above it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know all about that. <laughs> it looks like it has. It could have one. We yes. just don't know. No, I mean, the. it's really interesting because even though my character, my dragon breathes fire, I have other oh, like, no, options fell. for weapons. <laughs> no, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm ruining it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Drown the dragon. I don't know. Can you swim? Yeah, it's a very yeah. competent swimmer. Wow. So thankfully, Fred has not yet done wow. any serious injury to the so dragon. I suppose you need to. I'm so sorry. I dragged no, you away from the lighthouse. And now, how do you get back to the original land that you've heard well, lore of since 2004? <laughs> like, you know, like, it's fine. Dragon this is my life now. now. Oh, okay. I'm very happy with my new life. So how do you get back to where you were? Well, well I'm we waiting. Can... I'm waiting for this to recharge. I could swim back, I suppose. Yeah, but I do want to. that take a lot of energy? It would, it would take about the same amount. Well, it take it just take time, basically. Yeah. But I want. I do want to get up here into this yeah. tower and see when but we're, when we've let this fully recharge and it's nearly there we should mm. be able to fly all the way up and hopefully wow. land up on it on the like, i'm hoping this... there's some kind of energy thing up there but i'm probably not <laughs> i think i don't know it might be a mission there might be someone up there to speak to who might give us a quest yeah yeah exactly. and so yeah it... that's exactly why i want you to go up there not just because i was entranced by the architecture it's I it, would be useful. <laughs> it, it looks would like a very be prominent place yes yeah. somewhere yes yeah. And it so, might be, you never know. Or well, maybe someone's just foolishly left a light on. Yeah, well, I mean, and so we have this entire map to boats, we have think. this entire map to explore. Yeah. And then we have this is the entire direction. So this is just this section. So we can zoom out even further. There are and different areas to... of the Dragon Isles. Yeah. And then we zoom out even further and there's the entire world. And is then we can zoom out even entire... further and there are multiple worlds. Oh. Yeah. So there's four worlds, and in those worlds there are different nations. In those nations there are different. So like... what's your favourite world? Do you know what? We knew. So I'm gonna have to say dragons. Really? Yeah. I mean, also it's so exciting that this finally came out, and I think people are so like. They're very excited. Yeah. A lot of people have been like speaking about this, and it's been part, really big part of the game's lore for such a long time mm -hmm. that I think a lot of the the players here have been playing since 2005, 2006, I think they're incredibly excited to uh, basically get, get in and oh, explore. Somebody in chat was saying we could mount and fly up. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. That's all right. Oh, wow. Hang there on, go. let's go. What's that? What have you done? So, You've added accessories. <laughs> yeah, we have a what is this? What's happened? Where did you get this bird from? What can I say? We've got dragons <laughs> on dragons. So right this now. is your dragon on dragons. Yeah, we've but this got... isn't the turquoise one. No, we can't. Earlier. That one, we do want to get on that one, but yeah. that one we have to unlock. Okay. I'm sad to say there's nothing up here. No, I mean, it's, not it's just show. decoration. I'm sad to say. No, it's <laughs> typical of me to be drawn to artifacts. <laughs> yes. No. To me, to, I mean, it looks so to epic. Just something ornamental <laughs> and, no, and some kind like, of frivolity. Yeah. But we can actually now just like glide down. 
I mean, this is just going to be a lighthouse. Maybe for the dragons? I'm not sure. Dragons can fly, so why do they need a lighthouse? Well, there are sure. ships crashed everywhere. There's that it's quite one dangerous. with the lightsaber going mm -hmm. over it. <laughs> yeah, and then some of those bad ones, the ones that look like they've got lightsabers, we can fight them, and when we defeat them, we get... Um, well, they call it uh, experience points, and that means that you can level up your dragon, make it more powerful, yeah. and then when you get into fights, you can, you know... You cannot use more swimming. Right, there we should go. be able to... Oh, wow. I don't know why a dragon can't... Oh, here we go. No. Has it got nothing to launch off? Yeah, I mean, it's just... I expected more from a dragon. I expected you know? more. Why can't no. you swim in the sea? Yeah, I know, but you know, I think because of the thin membranes mm. on the wings. Mm. I... That's true. <laughs> You see, I told you you were teaching me last. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to come to tell you about this, and yeah. I had to let you discover thank it yourself. You, thank you. I appreciate it so much. No, no honestly, it's so been I'm a... glad I was able to enlighten you in that way <laughs> about the thin membranes on you the You see, wings. every time I see the lighthouse now, I'll think of you. Oh, no. That, I'll be like, no, oh. that is nice. It's worse yes. as you could look at yeah. me. So <laughs> I'm, very, I'm really here delighted. Yeah. And where are we going here? So this is a like where you the river. Yes. So because obviously the lore of this place is it was where the dragons lived and it was everything you were telling us before like the whole island is volcanic yeah because of all i think the draconic power yeah um, but that means that also everybody here with like red names they are all like bad dragons that we have to fight because we're ones that have um sentience you know we you know are trying to take back the island so that we can live on it yeah and it's kind of gone wild and and um so then we get to fight these and, and collect things off these dragons. And then once we've done that, we're actually all going to go down into a dungeon and do like a big battle in the dungeon, which is like a part of the game. So that's why we're leveling up right now, so that we get even more powerful. Yeah, you need to be really powerful yes. and not flying over to Lighthouse and <laughs> yeah. using up needless amounts of energy. Right. It was a very silly mistake by me. Yeah, okay. No, uh, yeah, well, Fred should have said no. We no cannot I'm go so through delighted, it. though. No, I did like so the fun. No, I, honestly, that's one of the best things about, about yeah. this game is that it is so... Yeah. I'm fighting. You're so calm. I'm while battling. You're <laughs> but I can see you slaying these multiple dragons oh, and no. you just calmly, calmly yeah, testing away. That. There we go. Well, you know. It was a little bit of a battle. We actually got this green bar as our health. We actually, we actually got it was quite, quite a touch and go there for a second. Yeah. No, but we're okay. Could you imagine how embarrassing it would have been if he'd have died in front of you? I can imagine mm. it would have been. how embarrassing it would be if I'd made your dragon. Right? <laughs> well, at least we didn't drown. I mean, yeah. that would have truly been, yeah, that yeah, would have been yeah. rough. Now, where are um, we going now? So we're just going to run through here. I'm actually not... In, so I'm exploring this all for the first time as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got these little tiny dragons on me now. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're sweet. Yep. But we need and to... we still have to fight them. <laughs> sweet, but you're fighting them. Okay. Well, they'll fight oh, us. Look. You see, look, they, they're teaming up on us. They're multiplying. Think of them like raptors, you know? Like okay, one might not yeah. be too bad. Exactly. But, but, but once you're up map, to four, you're in a... Well, that's what it said. But they're very powerful as a pack. Exactly. It's one of the great things. that This is a, a huge like update to the game. And mm -hmm. like... It's the it's it's a massive world. It's a world of Warcraft, and so like it's it's really exciting because it's got so much detail. Every area has got its own like individual history that you have to learn about. Each area has its own characters mm -hmm. that are having their own troubles that you have to help or not help. Yes, and go against them. Yeah, and um, so it's really interesting. It's a the big part of it is basically the story and the yeah. lore and some of the other content creators here who you'll probably speak yeah. to today. Their entire job is making videos about all of the lore and the plot because the game's been running th since I think 2005. There is so much story to it, and obviously for newer players like us, we jump in and go, "I don't know what's happening." So there are there are you know um, people who just specifically focus not even on just playing the game but on telling the stories and helping you understand who all the characters are and what's happening in the world and why certain groups like each other and certain groups don't. It's very like big and political. And and it's it's definitely as like a newer player it's definitely one of those things where we are kind of like learning as we go and i'm like oh can those guys do they like each other it's like oh no okay we shouldn't have spoken to them at the same time is there you any know? way to negotiate with those characters that don't they don't get on and that yeah. kind of sort of written rules is that they don't get on is there any way to navigate that is there any way to I think to, it's... to change it and bridge the gap i don't not right now i don't think i think right now is that you have to play smart you're not you're not this huge influential character you're just another another person in the world and there's a war and you just have to be careful basically the best way of navigating right now is just knowing where to not go and where it's yeah. safe mm -hmm. yeah so you know because no one no and one's when you are going uh, vulnerable that's not safe you go with a group which <laughs> yeah. is why if this game is is so popular is that people will all play together so we're going to be grouping up with like five or six of our friends and going into yeah. a dungeon so that, that we get to... That is something I found interesting, yeah. Yeah. that everybody is together yeah. and that you are playing the game 
you're playing your character, you're on a chat at the same time, yeah. Yeah. and you're talking to me. Yes. It's you really working on so many different yeah. levels. Yeah, no, it's it's and does it take you time to kind of wind down from the game? It does. After you finish the after you finish of a, a night of gaming. Um, sometimes I go to bed hearing the sounds and it's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. playing through my head. And then, um, yeah, I honestly, it is it is a very intense, you, you do have to speak to all of these lovely people here. It looks exciting. And, um, <laughs> it's really fun, but it is like, you keep one eye here, you keep one eye here, you're talking and there's, yeah. you know, the game is happening and all these different things are taking place. And it's one of the things that, I mean, once you, it's, it's like any skill. Once you've done it a few times, you get used to it and, you know, it becomes incredibly fun. But yeah, you can end up dreaming about World of Warcraft or whatever game yeah. you're playing. You end up being like, oh my goodness, what am I going to be doing tomorrow? How, how, you know, Do you um, sometimes find that your dreams inform strategies that you might use in the game? Oh, definitely, definitely. Wow. There are so times you're where... Unconsciously too. Yeah, well, there are definitely times where you're like, wait, have I ever been in there? In your dream. And your, yeah. your mind will start kind of going, oh, I wonder what's down that area. And you're like, I've never actually, oh, I should go. Like, so mm -hmm. the next time, you know, you go into an area and you're like, oh my goodness, it's something really cool. Or it's like the lighthouse just sitting there. Yeah. And you land on it and you're like, well, now I know. It's just a lighthouse, yeah. you know. There's no man up there with a secret message yeah, yeah, for yeah. you. Or I do really want to like fly that. this now. That, now that yeah. you've mentioned it, I do want <laughs> it's I so I need to explore. Beautiful. It looks it's absolutely so majestic. I could yeah. go. No. But it's, it's so nice to No, it's lovely really? to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for giving us some of your time. And um, thank you yes. for telling me yeah. about this really incredible world. Yeah. It really is. It's incredible, and I've, been, I've loved playing. It's been oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Hopefully see you yes. soon. Bye. Yeah, you will. Thank you. Bye, bye. Holy shit.